Hello everyone, this is Mark with Mr. Hurricane Tracker.webs.com bringing you a climate change update for today, October 15th, 2011. This is the last update for today. Of course, if something does come up, like an earthquake above a 6.0, I will most definitely post it here. Um, if you guys remember last week, Pennsylvania has reported some large sounds that sound like booms, uh, very loud noises, I should say, that sound like booms and shakes. Well, it has been confirmed that there were earthquakes in the area, and I'm going to go ahead and read this from SOT.net. Take a look at the link in the description video below. I'll post all of these uh, updates that I'm posting right now. The mysterious shakes in one area of Dauphin County neighborhood last week have been confirmed earthquakes. Now, this was on the news in my area. I don't know if you were able to see that on the news in your location. It says a professor of earth and science at Millersville University, Charles Scharnberger, tells CBS 21 News there were found four earthquakes in the area of Swatara Township. And he says all happened in a small area only about a mile across. He also compared them to the earthquakes that have been felt in Dillsburg. So again, guys, very interesting. So they might have to put some seismic monitors in that area. Then, of course, who knows who's going to report those? Because again, uh, as I stated before, the USGS hasn't been really posting anything very good as they usually do. Um, the Iceland volcano or Katla volcano uh, rumbling fuels a fear of a volcanic eruption that would be worse than last year's eruption on the other side of the, of the volcano, which I'm not going to attempt to pronounce. Uh, the Catlin Volcano, according to scientists, is underway for intimate eruption. An Icelandic volcano that could be more devastating than the impact of last year's volcano, but that paralyzed air traffic last year may erupt at any time, the scientists say at this moment. Seismologists and scientists are nervously watching rumblings beneath Catla. So we got the rumblings going on beneath Catla, which have the uh, magna, flow, magna flow blowing, blowing around underneath there and of course we'll have to watch this uh, SOT.net report to see what's going on. Experts have been worried about this and experts are also warning the government of a possible imminent eruption. So Katla is much bigger than the other one in fact so the one that, that, hit, that actually went off last year which I'm not able to pronounce the 2010 eruption which cost airlines 1.27 million dollar or billion dollars after ash grounded flights across Europe. Now, since this is a Catla volcano, if it erupts, we're going to have a lot of problems if it erupts. If you guys don't know who the Believers Underground is, go check that out. Uh, Believers Underground. I'll post the link in somewhere up here. Click on it and uh, go check it out. Believers Underground. He's a pretty good uh, updater too as well. Doing what we do best and that's updating the people about the news and what's happening. Um, we got a mysterious uh, disease which is killing seals in Alaska. I'm not sure if you also remember this guy who would report about uh, the moon and of course the mysterious uh, sea fish that are dying out there. Things like that that are happening may be including up to earthquake predictions but again of course that's a speculation and I'm not going to go there but again that's a possible uh, speculation of earthquakes that are happening due to these animals that are showing up dead due to different diseases as what the news media is trying to say that that's what's going on of course it could be a cover-up uh, the Arctic ozone holes has the fifth largest on record as a the update on that uh, I'm really not interested in discussing that uh, Russia earthquake magnitude 6.1 we did actually post that on the Mr. Hurricane tracker and we have a breaking news story in Bangkok braced for devastating floods Papua New Guinea magnitude 6.7 now we did talk about that earthquake in fact people were injured due to that earthquake in fact I'll read some of that in just a moment it shows Indonesia dozens injured in Bali earthquake and this is one that's the 6.7 that we just saw a strong earthquake struck off the Indonesian island of Bali on late Thursday morning Seismologists said collapsing a number of buildings and injuring dozens of people. There were no immediate reports of fatalities. The 6.8 magnitude earthquake at 11.16 a.m. local time or 0316 GMT was centered about 100 kilometers 
or 62 miles southwest of Denpasar, the capital city of Bali. It struck about 10 kilometers or 6.2 miles deep. Very, very interesting on that. Uh, making it a shallow earthquake, according to Indonesia's Seismological uh, Agency, or BMKG. And, of course, the United States Geological Survey says, which measured the strength of the earthquake at a 6.1, which they downgraded it to 6.1 as well. And, uh, of course, we'll continue to keep you posted on that if any uh, breaking news comes about. But that area in Indonesia is something that we have been watching and is one of our hot spots at Mr. Hurricane Tracker. So stay tuned with us for that. Clue to climate changing super volcanic eruptions found, uh, which is kind of not something I want to look at. It's not something uh, very interesting to me. It's just something that they're talking about global warming stuff. Uh, Canary Islands, two new eruptions observed in subsea volcano. This is the update that we have all been waiting for on the El Quiro volcano. Two new eruptions were confirmed on Wednesday off the south coast of the Canary Islands of El Quiro. Nearby, nearly 600 people from the southernmost village, La Restinga, remain out of their homes and they are still evacuated. They have not been able to return as of yet. And of course, that was Tuesday when they have evacuated. Seismologists have found two separate fissures. And these fissures uh, are more than 2.3 miles and 1.7 miles from the area where the people have evacuated, which is La Restinga. And again, of course, uh, there have been confirmed reports by uh, spokeswomen for the local authorities who told the AFP about this uh, information. And of course, seismologists and scientists had to go check it, check it out, and they did. And what they have found was the first eruption occurred at a depth of 700 meters or 2,300 feet, and the other at a depth of 200 meters or 655 feet, which this has them worried. This is the second fissure. Scientists from ING and CSIC and the University of Cadiz are trying to determine if the subsea volcanic vent is widening and if so, if it is widening in the direction of El Hero. That's going to be very big guys if it is and I'll continue to keep you posted the best I can. So that's it for the Earth Changes uh, Climate Change updates October 15, 2011. Stay tuned for more updates. I'll be doing these all weekend long. And again, guys, uh, stay tuned for the latest. Now, uh, if you check out the Facebook page, go join it, facebook.com slash Mr. Hurricane Tracker, and join it. And, of course, I'll post all these videos and updates there every day. Thanks for watching. Please rate, subscribe, and comment, and have a great day.